tell you, I should go actually get our back um, one more again. So today I'm coming in to do the first video in a little mini series, if you will, um, of looks. I got a personal message from one of my subscribers and she was asking me some ways that she could transition her work wardrobe into spring. Um, so I put together a few looks just to kind of show some examples of some things that I would do. Um, I think that there are many different ways that you can do that. But for um, this series, I'm going to focus on incorporating color into your workwear to kind of make it more, you know, springy. Um, I actually wore an outfit last week sometime and it was a little bit of color blocking with like some really bright colors and my coworkers were just like, oh my god, you look so springy. So I thought this would be a great way to just kind of incorporate a little bit of color into your wardrobe and it just kind of transforms things a little bit because you know sometimes in the fall in the winter we can kind of get on the neutrals and blacks and grays and um blues like deep navies and stuff so i just kind of want to show a few ways to just add a little bit of color um everything that i use for these looks with the exception of a couple things a couple things i've just gotten recently but most everything else i had in my wardrobe already so um, I want us to hopefully put some things together that you guys don't have to like completely go out and buy a whole gang of new clothes just to, you know what I mean, bring spring in. Um, I like trends, but I'm not trendy, you know what I mean? So every time I see something that's hot or new, you know, I'm not the one that's like when the magazine tells you, okay, this is what you need to have in your wardrobe for spring, I'm like running out to get it, you know what I mean? So I try and kind of use what I have and to just get a little here a little there to kind of change with the season so i hope you guys like the looks um if you have any questions comments concerns if you'd like to see any other videos like this pertaining to anything else please hit me up and let me know and i will try and get something together um but the office environment that my subby described is one that i would say is business casual she said it's not super dressy but they can't wear like jeans or leggings or anything so Going with business casual. So that's kind of how I try to look at it. So like I said, this is the first of our four videos and I hope you guys enjoy them. So um, this is the first look that I put together. So I guess I'll go back real quick so you guys can see. And I'm using a new tripod now. So I'm trying to get a swing of things. But this look I thought was a good example of Something similar to what you may wear or what I would wear, I'll speak for myself, what I would have worn in the spring, in the fall and winter, and how adding just a little color on the bottom can make it a little bit more springtime appropriate. So the cardigan you guys have seen many, many times is just a black and white animal print. It's kind of a hybrid of prints. It's not like a one single animal. It's a lot of different things going on. Um, and I just paired it with this skirt here. It's kind of a cobalt blue. The skirt I got from TJ Maxx, this is one of my most recent purchases. It was $20, I believe. Um, and it's kind of pencil-y. As you can see, it has a little split in the back. Um, I just love the color on this one. And I just paired it with a small patent leather belt here around my waist. And then I have on these black wedges. Um, I think these are Madden Girl. Yeah, by Steve Madden. They're just some black rounded toe wedges but um like i said this to me is reminiscent of something i wear maybe i would have worn it with a black skirt um during the fall and the winter but i think the skirt just kind of brings a little bit more color to it a little bit of a pop um for my accessories i just have on these hematite earrings this hematite necklace here which i've seen and then the single bangle now if you wanted to kind of pump it up a little bit more you could add more color with the accessories now this necklace y'all are gonna see a lot in this series because i absolutely love it and i think it works so much but this one here is like a turquoise necklace i got from the uh, beauty supply store one dollar i love it it's like one of my favorites i just love the colors and it's like a really good statement piece so it adds a little bit more color to the outfit uh, because you have kind of have so much with the gray and the hematite kind of pulls it down a little bit. So you can br brighten it up a little bit more and go a little step further by adding colors to your accessories. Um, like I have on this black wedge here. Gray is also, it's a nice neutral and it's definitely a color that you would have worn in the uh, fall and the winter. But I think it's a little bit lighter than black. Um, not so heavy. So I have these gray pumps that you guys have seen many, many times before. <clears throat> and they're just like um, a 
suede finish. Um, but I think that lightens it up a little bit and it's a little lighter than the black would be. And the heel is a little lighter than the wedge as far as like actual weight, not necessarily color. And then also, one of my other faves that I love are some flats because definitely, I know me, most of the time when I go to work, I wear flats. I don't think I've worn heels to work, but maybe three times. Um, so for the most part, I do wear flats. So this gray snake skin flat would be a nice um, way to lighten up the black. Maybe not necessarily with this top, but I do have some other sweaters to show you guys. So I bought a couple other examples of um, cardigans that you could use to spring up your wardrobe. So and maybe you don't have a colored bottom, but you do have black skirt or black slacks that you wear all the time or even a black dress. Um, you can spring it up a little bit with some cardies. So I have this one which is a really pretty kind of turquoise color has a little ruffle on it it's short sleeve also and it's a little cropped in the back so that's great for springtime and then this one here which is one of my favorites i actually put it on for you guys it's um a really pretty lime green or some might say chartreuse um this sweater i actually wore with this skirt to work before and it actually kind of plays on the color blocking and i think it kind of looks really nice together so i'll just show you guys and this is definitely a way the color black you know a lot of people played with color blocking last year um but it's another way to kind of bring some fun to your work wardrobe and i just think that lime and the purple just bounce off of each other so beautifully as you can see so you could put a little belt on with it if you wanted to or you could just leave it just the way that it is um and i think it goes perfectly with the gray pumps um, and I think when I wore it to work, I actually wore the snakeskin flats. So I think that gray just kind of pulls it all together. It's a little bit of neutral because we do have so much kind of brightness going on with the skirt and the sweater. The neutral color just kind of brings it down. And um, these pants here, I actually can't wear them anymore. I'm not sad because I can't wear them anymore because they're too big. But um, just a really pretty neutral pants. If you can see the color there, it's a brown and it kind of has some gold undertones in it but one of my favorite things to wear with these pants was this lime green cardi so all that is to say you can take pieces that you have already your neutral colored outfits or pieces rather pants skirts um if you wear like a structured capri to work you could use those things that you were already wearing and just kind of pair it with something that's a little bit you know more vibrant has a little bit more color just to wake it up a little bit so you don't have to go get a whole brand new wardrobe of things but just kind of incorporate things and i'm sure you guys have colored cardigans in your outfit in your closets already so you can just kind of pair them differently just to make things look a little bit more springtime appropriate but um i hope that this gave you guys a few ideas of some ways to use color as far as cardigans are concerned and like i said with the bottoms i love this skirt like i love this skirt so much and it's so cute because it can be dressed up dressed down you can definitely take this from the office to happy hour to dinner wherever and it works in all um situations so hope you guys like it and i will be back with the next one this is...